I thought of Shauna as a good mother, but apparently it was just a show. At the time that these poisonings occurred, I had been out of the home already for six months, and I was working six days a week, 10 hours a day. In 2000, they determined that I was type 2 diabetic. Even though Sean and I and Nick were separated, she still took it upon herself to get my medications from the pharmacy. She was so good at manipulation. Looking back, I can see how one or two pills would be missing, I wouldn't know. On the several visits to the emergency room, I was scratching my head thinking, my gosh, how could all my kids have such severe medical issues? At the time, I thought she's a good mother for caring about the kids. I guess I was gullible. I believed people for their word. They caught Shauna on a weekend. In uh, 2001, I got a call from social services. That's when I got wind of kids were taken away into protective custody. I felt betrayed and the courts said that because I was not aware of all the extensive testing on my children that I failed to protect my kids. And I felt destroyed, me being the good Christian father trying to make things right for the kids and I just failed miserably. I would have to say that I was duped in a long line of people and professionals and therapists. I truly believe she belongs and incarcerated the rest of her life. Well, Bill is joining us today on Polycom. Uh, Bill, you've been listening and watching everything that we've been talking about so far, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, when you look at it with 2020 hindsight, it's pretty overwhelming, correct? Oh, absolutely. It's amazing that looking at it from this perspective and all the court reports, uh, I, I just can't believe that I didn't catch up on it until after such terrible abuse. You, you see these head injuries, foot injuries, hand injuries, uh, all of these things happening over and over again. What did you think? You know, at first I thought, how is it possible that uh, my three young boys that seemed to be sick and ill for the first six months. And at that time, I had no information in regards to how many emergency room visits. Apparently, while I was working, she would take the kids there and never say a word to me. So when you separated, did you leave the children with her? Absolutely. I left the children with her. Uh -huh. Now, y you admit that there were times that you gave the children, you put chili peppers uh, in the children's mouths, correct? Yes, sir, I did. Uh, and what, was the, on, what uh, was the reason for that? The reason for that was uh, my kids were eating so much soap because uh, Shauna, the mother, would swear like a truck driver. And how did you keep it in their mouths? I would put it in their mouth with a teaspoon and they would spit it out. Um, I, at the time, I thought that would be less toxic than soap. But uh, it's funny, the reports don't state how many times mother had done that to the children and all the accusations towards me. It made me look like the big monster. Uh, well, the court, documents, set up. the court documents said you duct taped their mouths shut. That That's not true. correct it's whatsoever. Who did duct tape their mouths? According to my son Josh, he said his mother had put him in handcuffs. Uh, I'm not so sure about the duct tape. In my opinion, there is a lot of misinformation in the court documents. Mm -hmm. For example, they said uh, I was barricaded inside a bunk bed. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not the case. I was uh, barricaded inside of a dog cage. A dog cage that was thrown around the uh, room. With my, my older brother, we were crammed in the same cage and chucked around the room by Shauna regularly. Uh, and she'd handcuff and duct tape us and leave us in a corner of a room. Uh, and the bunk bed was sabotaged so it'd fall on myself and it pinned me uh, by the neck. And I was there for o over an hour and I was able to turn my, my head seeing Shauna stand there leaning against the wall just with a smile on her face. 